Do you know that the EV market, once hailed as the future of transportation, might face one of the greatest collapses in history? Right now, we see ominous signs that the EV party may be approaching a screeching halt. Sooner or later, you'll see an EV apocalypse. In this video, we will explain the six reasons why the EV market might be facing a potential slowdown and who is responsible for it. If you want to know the truth, stay until the end and subscribe to the channel to stay connected. Reason number six, the cold reality of EVs and charging stations. EVs, once called the future of transportation, are now having crippling performance in cold weather. What good is an EV if its battery range plummets as soon as a chill sets in? This winter, EV drivers across freezing parts of the country found themselves stuck on the side of the road, batteries drained, as the brutal cold sapped their cars of charge. It's not just the vehicle batteries that struggle. Even charging stations had major issues operating in sub-zero temps in places like Chicago. Many were completely out of service, leaving drivers stranded with no way to regain power. The ones still working took hours longer than usual to recharge the batteries that had already been depleted. The frightening reality is that the colder it gets, the more energy EV batteries require to operate and accept a charge. This has created a new phenomenon of charging anxiety among owners. Even if you make it to a station, there's no guarantee you'll be able to recharge and make it to your destination. Just one extended freezing snap could render large portions of the nation's EV fleet immobile. Reason number five, manufacturers pump the brakes. Not long ago, automakers were racing at full speed to become leaders in the electric vehicle market. GM's CEO, Mary Barra, boldly claimed the company would have an all-electric lineup by 2035. Other brands were setting hugely ambitious targets to roll out new EV models rapidly. The race to dominate the EV market is now slowing down. After a couple of years of rapid growth, the EV hype is calming and the market is cooling down. Now. The industry is executing a screeching 180. The combination of consumer hesitancy over high prices, lack of demand, and financial realities has forced manufacturers to slam the brakes on their electric dreams. Annual EV production and sales targets are being dramatically revised downwards across the board. GM planned to sell 1 million electric vehicles by 2026, but their dream shattered. Based on dismal sales of just 100,000 last year, Barra's aspirations seem wildly unrealistic. The company has indefinitely postponed key upcoming models like the electric Silverado and Sierra pickups. This pattern of overpromising and underdelivering on EVs may soon become the norm. Reason number four, job cuts looming. As EV sales growth fell far short of projections, automakers have been forced to execute painful measures. Many manufacturers have scaled back their sales targets and production for the current year, leading to job losses. Entire manufacturing lines and plants dedicated to electric models are being idled or retooled to produce gas vehicles again which has greatly disappointed EV manufacturers. Take Ford's highly touted electric F-150 Lightning pickup truck. Originally intended to be America's first mass market electric truck and dethrone the company's own wildly popular gas F-Series, the Lightning's production targets have been cut in half for 2024. And the worst part is yet to come. Sadly, Rogue Electric Vehicle Center in Michigan will terminate an entire workforce shift impacting over 1,400 jobs. While some employees may transfer to nearby plants building gas models, like the Bronco and Ranger, many face outright termination or are forced into early retirement buyouts. Ford negotiated with the UAW. This pattern is likely to repeat across Detroit's big three and beyond. Overly bullish on EVs and preemptively staffing up for projects being postponed or canceled, automakers now find themselves bloated and needing to shed workers fast as the electric reality fails to meet expectations. Reason number three, the bottom line, EVs aren't profitable. The green agenda might be noble, but the EV industry is still a business. Automakers are businesses motivated by profits above all else. And the sad reality is that currently, electric vehicles represent a financial sinkhole rather than a money-making opportunity. High manufacturing costs combined with pricing pressures have forced companies to sell EVs at a staggering loss per vehicle. Take Ford's Lightning pickup. Reports indicate the company lost a staggering $36,000 on every truck sold in late 2023 due to the exorbitant costs of production. Across its electric lineup, the Blue Oval is estimated to have bled $4.5 billion in losses last year alone. Unsurprisingly, this bleak financial picture 
has caused Ford and others, like GM, to drastically reduce their investment in future EV programs. Major new models have been postponed indefinitely or cancelled outright as part of desperate cost-cutting measures. Interestingly, manufacturers aren't the only ones facing financial challenges. Now, rental car companies have joined this doomed party too. Major companies like Hertz have already removed over 20,000 electric cars from their fleets, unable to recoup sufficient value due to their lightning-fast depreciation compared to gas counterparts. With the reality that EVs are currently unprofitable and a drag on automakers' bottom lines, the prospects for continuing to fund new products and advocate for the technology grows dimmer by the day. How long can this unsustainable trajectory continue before the wheels come off completely? No one knows. Reason number two, the reign of SUVs and trucks. Electric vehicles have so far focused on smaller, efficiency-minded offerings. But now, the customer's mindset has changed completely as their interests have shifted toward electric SUVs and pickup trucks. They are more convenient, spacious, and reliable. A handful of electric SUVs are on the market, but their prohibitively high pricing puts them out of reach for the typical consumer. More affordable options are slowly emerging, but their lack of size, capability, and range pale compared to gasoline rivals. The pickup segment paints an even bleaker picture for EVs. You know, people buy affordable things without breaking the bank. Because of their speed off the line, electric trucks like Ford's Lightning fail to measure up to their internal combustion counterparts in terms of actual utility. The Lightning can tow a maximum of 10,000 LBs, a far cry from the 13,000 plus LBS capability of the standard F-150 but the biggest issue comes down to range. Independent tests have confirmed what truck owners feared. Towing or hauling even mildly heavy loads utterly decimates an electric pickup's range to just a fraction of its EPA estimates. Motor Trend saw the Lightning's 280-mile range plummet to as little as 90, 115 miles when towing a trailer at different weights. AAA's test, with a 1,400-pound sandbag in the pickup, cuts the range nearly a third. Clearly, there's still a long road ahead before EV pickups can make their place in the market. EVs simply won't cut it for the legions of drivers who depend on their trucks for real work, hauling, and capability, not just daily commuting. With no imminent solutions in sight, electric pickups may end up being overpriced vehicles rather than a proper replacement for gasoline workhorses. So as the auto market continues shifting heavily towards SUVs and trucks, the very areas EVs remain the weakest, the prospect of mass adoption faces bigger hurdles. Manufacturers must overcome technological limitations and pricing barriers to create electric utility vehicles that match their gas counterparts. Otherwise, the evidence suggests consumers will stubbornly cling to their tried and true internal combustion vehicles. Reason number one, the government's lackluster support. On paper, the Biden administration plans to make two-thirds of new cars all electric by 2032. But there is something else, something that we don't know which government's hiding from us like a second thought. The government might drop a surprise bomb on us, as their recent policy moves suggest the government may be getting cold feet about going all in on electrification. Exhibit A shows the drastic change in eligibility rules for the $7,500 federal EV tax credit by the IRS. New sourcing requirements for batteries and other components have abruptly made many popular EVs, like Tesla, ineligible for lucrative incentives in the future. This undercuts one of the key financial levers to drive consumer adoption. Then there's the matter of charging infrastructure, supposedly a top priority to support the electric transition. However, a damning report revealed that not a single new public charger was constructed last year in the US, despite Congress allocating $7.5 billion for exactly that purpose. With proper infrastructure lagging, EVs remain impractical for many consumers. So don't be surprised if the government eventually decides to abandon its ambitious electrification plan entirely. Such eroding government support could absolutely devastate the EV industry. Automakers are already struggling with economics and consumer acceptance. If policies and incentives get yanked away, it may deliver a knockout blow that sends the electric revolution into a full-scale industrial collapse. What do you think about the future of EVs? Is it safe or is it going to collapse? Share your thoughts in the comments section. See you in the next video.